DJ Twist. I'm T. And this is episode 305, yeah, also known as 305. Also known as Lyron. Lyron is the iron armor Pokemon, which I think the last one was, was also yeah, the iron. Was the same thing, right? It's lame. I hate it when they do that. Damn. I know, but... It, oh, uh, no, you're not on there. Now you're on, DJ. Copy, right. copy, copy. Oh, yeah, there yeah, DJ's here. DJ. What up? What up? Unfocused circle is complete. All right. Um... Yeah, we're here on Unfocus, episode 305, as we previously mentioned. Yeah, there's a podcast about yeah. stuff that we like to talk about. Yeah, those things include anime, video games, movies, comics, et nerd cetera, stuff. et cetera. All the nerd things. Oh, Danny, can you close that? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, also we're on twitch.tv slash collision28, live right now. Spotify, Stitcher. Um, YouTube.com slash uh, Podcast. Apple Podcast, too. Collision28.com. Um, yeah. Uh, that being said, um, how was your unfocus? Oh, week? by the way, you can email us unfocusedpodcast at gmail dot com. T. Oh, I wish I had a freaking button for it, but we have an email. Oh shit! When should we read it? Let's read it right now. Right before now. We go to the, all right. Before right we do now. the unfocus before weeks. weeks. All right. We're gonna see the viewers unfocus call this weeks. Instant gratification. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, Eric's. Uh, yeah, Eric's Lamb. Oh shit. AKA Sirius. I didn't know he was serious. Eric's Lamb, that's the man. Sirius. He's serious. Remember Sirius back in the day? Sirius was someone that was watched the our JTV streams. I never knew that was him. Why so serious? I hate when people come through and like with different names. I, I I don't put two and two together in time and all of a sudden like I learned some shit. Anyways. We still don't know who some people are. Yeah, I know, that's true. Right. right. But okay. Where's so what is that? Uh, he says, "Hey, been meaning to email, but never really got around to it. However, I felt a sense of urgency after hearing AJ talk about the Avatar comics. So I just finished reading Katara and the Pirate Silver comic, and it turns out to be a non-canon filler story of Boo, sorts. Ooh, good to know, Eric. Thank you. Uh, much like those free comic book day issues. Uh, all oh, whack. I would think Toph's comic about her meta, a metal bending academy would be similar. Yeah, I would assume so too. And there's also supposed to be a Suki one coming out afterwards too. Yeah. So they may all be maybe in one of those. It may be canon. It may just be not a story like worth, that, you know, like. It just doesn't matter. Yeah. It's canon, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> maybe more like something like that, I would say. Uh, he also continues saying, on a similar note, I went through the Kyoshi novels. Uh, and I enjoy them. A lot of teenage relationship drama because they're teens. Uh, but a lot of poli- uh, politics with some dives into Avatar lore. I know series of consecutive sentences are rough to read, so I suggest just picking up the audiobooks from the library app, he says. Oh, wow. Uh, also, happy that AJ got into Power Ranger comics. I love what they did with the franchise to the point I committed and bought all their omnibuses. Damn. They have yeah. omnibuses for Power Rangers? Okay, I didn't cool. know that. I didn't know that either. Maybe I should just stop and just do that. Uh, and then he continues saying, which brings me to my next point. Do you want to trade volumes of Power Rangers Lost Chronicles? Side stories, basically. Um, oh, do, I, do I even own that? Or does he is he offering them to me to trade? Yeah, like, I guess he wants to let you borrow something. You I guess. Borrow right. something. We'll see. It turns out these volumes are ultimately collected in the deluxe omnibuses I bought. Let me know via Facebook Messenger or text, etc. Yeah. P.S. He says, "Unfocus, Dead Kate prediction, Kingdom Hearts movie." What? We, we, I gotta, Interesting I gotta prediction. Out, yeah, I gotta figure out how to add that to the, a Dead Kate prediction that we did he that. For, how, how far back are you? This is <laughs> right there. Look in the comments. What? That's Tai Chi. That's Tai Chi. Yeah. Uh, the years. comics line is like four years old now. Would make would, sense. Oh, he wants to switch. But the Power Rangers comics. I think he's talking about that. They're omnibuses for it now. Yeah, he's talking about Power Rangers. Mm true um also he uh, actually gave us some pictures so you can send us Ooh. pictures this is what he's talking about uh, i like the cover lost the chronicles. last chronicle one looks cool yeah it looks pretty dope uh and then uh he also sent this talking about the kyo chief in the library app so uh, the second one's already out that's crazy there's two damn yeah and uh these are the ones that uh you can just listen to um so yeah i, I didn't think about freaking audiobooks for kyoshi i should just do that Cause like sometimes I run out of like I, like my podcasts are done and I was like oh, I don't know what to listen to it now I can just do that um, and then he also sent oops this which uh, I don't get it title expectation and then result and I didn't see Smallville so um, I don't quite get it either <laughs> I don't get it either <laughs> yeah I don't I I think I get where he's kind of going with it but I don't really understand completely. 
A disappointment is what I'm I'm getting from it in, in some oh, way. Oh no. Oh, okay. Game of Thrones was disappointing. I don't think like Korra maybe kind of somewhat disappointing, but like Avatar Wong is awesome. And then Smallville. I didn't watch Smallville, so I'm not sure if that was a disappointing series or not. You know, I watched I rewatched Korra not too long ago. Bro, that's just not disappointing. It's good. It's pretty good, yeah. But it's like it's it's like I don't think it's as hype as Last Airbender was. No, but at, it's close for sure, though. You know, I feel like the problem is the they didn't know they were getting more seasons. Mm, yeah, that's I feel true. like if they knew they were gonna get more seasons, it would have been even no, better. That that is true though. Yeah, because they didn't know. Yeah, because they could have planned more things, more consistency, more connective yeah. tissue. You know, uh, Amon could have been like a season, like an overall arching uh, villain rather than maybe. just a season villain. Yeah, maybe. And that's the one thing that I didn't like. Um, but yeah, Nickelodeon screwed them over a lot with that, says Tai Chi, which is, yeah, that's yeah. true. Uh, um, but yeah, anyways, there's that, some... that, that our email. So thanks for emailing us. And anyone else can also email us Yeah, via email. Yeah, please. We appreciate the, the contact. Thank you for listening. For and thank sure. you for interacting. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know that you're, you're serious like and it. Eric's and that you guys are one of the same. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel like there was something I wanted to mention based off of what he said, but I can't remember. Uh, was it about Smallville? Power Rangers? Smallville? Was it about Smallville? Was it about uh, uh, well, omnibuses? Uh, Avatar? Kiyoshi? No, it's okay. I guess I messaging back via Facebook for the trade. No. Okay, it's all right. It's all good. Go ahead. Uh, or his prediction you... for the Kingdom Hearts movie. Oh, I think that was the thing that kind of triggered something in my mind. Like, uh, yeah, you know, that's very interesting to say. I don't know if that would happen but like i could see them making a cgi kingdom hearts movie can't you yeah i could see that but that's a lot of licensing to go through you got to go through disney and square enix all you gotta do is get disney disney has is the i guess Disney's the master the main thing, yeah, yeah as long as square enix can broker a deal with disney i think it would be cool and i don't think that's too hard for them they have a really good relationship with disney yeah well it's just disney needs to be like all right disney owns all the kingdom heart characters it's gonna have to come oh, out wow. of disney plus so even if square enix did something on the side they couldn't bring like Sora and all them into the into their thing without Disney's approval because all those characters are owned by Disney. Mm. Oh, that was crazy. Okay, didn't know that. Good right. to know. You heard it here first, guys. Here on Unfocus. Yeah. All right. Um. I guess with that said, uh, you want to just go ahead and tell me about your Unfocus week? Unfocus uh, weeks. Yeah. So, um, uh, just fucking around with uh, like Digimon cards and uh the UFS cards and all that. I I printed a new um deck box. Uh, a little bit in. Why are you? It, you're, you're blue. It's blue, guys. You can actually see it this time. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. Uh, but I made a latch uh, with some springs. So I took some springs out of pins because I had like a, a lot of like you know just clickable pins. Uh, and then uh, I made a little latch. So now you can open it with this little latch right here. And it's Dope. it's pretty cool. It makes this horrible sound just because of the way it was printed. So I might need to go back to the drawing board on that and maybe try to print it in a different way somehow. Um, but that's cool. Did that. Um, I bought some new sleeves. So I learned about a while back at a comic at a, at a, at a card store about double sleeving, and uh, and there's one dude tell me he's like, yeah, uh, certain uh, companies make perfect fit sleeves to go on your cards, so then you could put those into a, an actual sleeve. You would, you know, that's, for extra protection. Which is true because we actually learned about this back in high school. Remember? Because we got remember those tight fit sleeves. Yeah. And we were for a long time. We we're like, why the fuck are these like this? And then like. You could slip them right into the regular ones, or like, oh, so they don't fucking move around in the fucking thing. Yeah, not only that, but it's just that extra layer of protection too. Yeah. Uh, for like more expensive cards, and I was like, I'm, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna do that. So I bought some. Uh, what are these called? They're called like uh, they're M K M C uh, card barrier perfect black. So they have a black backing to them too, and that's also to kind of. Uh, for, for some uh, sleeves, they're kind of a little transparent, kind of just barely. So this will block it out so it's not even transparent at all. So that's pretty cool. And so I already uh, put two decks in these sleeves. Um, they, they make the fucking deck a lot much thicker, though. And, like, they suck up air, so they just expand sometimes. And they got to flatten them out, and they're flat for a while. Oh, but, that's kind of But lame. then over time, they kind of expand again. Um, but, I mean, they're cool. Uh, yeah. So I did that. Oh, yeah, also DJ and I, I think, I, I think mine's better, though. Uh, made a uh, a list of our cards that we have. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that? That was um, um, jealousy. I think is what they call that. Not jealousy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna share it here on the screen really quick too. Um, but yeah, here's like all the uh, the cards. Here's all the cards that exist. And then I have on the side over here like how many of those cards I have uh, using a spreadsheet and all that too. So we're not a, made a checklist. Then. It's a whole checklist, pretty much for myself. Yeah. By the way, we're not obsessed. No. 
Um, and then, yeah, uh, and I'm going to add more to it, of course, so it's easier to, to go through. Um, you know, have all the ID numbers, uh, also uh, doubled up ID numbers for when a card has an alternate art and all that is all in here, too. Wow. Uh, it goes by, like, name, color, their rarity. Uh, also got level. And later on, I want to add, like, their DP and, and the stuff like that. The fucking champion and all that shit. Yeah, are also. You, are you trying to collect at least one of every card? No, but I'm, I'm close enough that I might as well be like, fuck it now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you'll have to keep it up for every set coming forward. And every... Yeah, uh, and he's got to buy one box. And you got most of it. You got like seventy yeah, percent. Yeah, you got starter decks, promo decks, tournament decks. Yeah, yeah, starter decks are different ID numbers too. So I'm gonna have to go back and, and add the starter deck. So I don't have the starter deck uh, in here too, because sometimes there are certain starter deck cards that don't exist in the actual set. So yeah, I gotta go do that. I think all of them are like that actually. Yeah, yeah all the cards in there yeah. are starter exclusive. Yeah, they are actually. Think those cards it. usually Fuck. suck though. So some of most with the, of them with do. the exception of a few. Yeah, most of Sorry. them like half of it does, half of it's actually legit, um, and that like multiple decks call for sometimes too that I, I've been noticing. But yeah, so I've been working on that too, um, and then I I read my I finished reading my Sonic comics and I started reading um, the next Last Ronin, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, oh, comic. I remember I was gonna tell you I was at the comic book store earlier today. I saw they had this special comic. It was called The Best of Michelangelo. Ooh, it was all orange and it was, just had his outline. Oh, yeah? And, yeah, and I, I didn't read it or anything, but I feel like it was like a compilation from the previous comics of all the crazy shit he's been doing. I don't know. I didn't really get to read it, but I was going to tell you about it. Was... That sounds cool, and I kind of I, I kind of want to get it and not at the same time, because it just sounds so sad, based off of what's going on in Last With Ronin. Last Ronin? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I wonder if that's the reason they're doing it. Yeah. I think so, too, actually. That's kind of crazy. I wonder if they'll do that for the other turtles. Um, that sounds interesting. But that's pretty much all I've been doing, though. All right. Uh, DJ, do you have a quick I'm Focus with you on tell us about? Yeah, I ended up watching that anime. What's it called, Anthony? Yasuke. Yasuke. That was pretty dope. The Black Samurai? The Black Samurai. Yeah. That was yeah. pretty sick. I'm not done with it. I got like halfway through it. Yeah, I saw that in like one sitting. Fuck. <laughs> I heard it's pretty epic. Like, it's easy to kind of marathon it, right? Yeah, it's only six yeah. episodes. I haven't started it yet. So that was pretty easy to watch. That was pretty sick to watch. Um, I ended up catching up on Star Wars, The Clone Wars. I mean, Star Wars, The Bad Batch. That, that series is pretty good, too. Um, you know, I missed two weeks worth of the Digimon adventure, the new episodes. Oh, to, oh and, shit! And I realized there was no more episodes since the last time I saw it. It, it literally stopped at forty nine. Uh, oh shit! Maybe you they're know? taking a break, season that's, break. That's what I'm hoping for because it, it kind of ended like in a cliffhanger. Well, it's not canceled. We would have heard about it for sure if it got yeah, canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, other than that, I make my own checklist. I think I, I think you could show it too because I saw yours in my in my iPad. Uh, I don't have access to yours though. Not yet? No, you, you haven't shared because, it. Because I could see yours, that's why. Yeah, because I shared it with you. Oh, okay. Well, I got my own checklist. The way it's the way I made it, it's designed to... I made it per color, so it's uh, they're in different pages. Mm, okay. So basically, I separated it by, by levels and rarity. You know, common, common. Oh, rare, by rarity, that's rare. cool. You know, oh, I, but I even added their, where, what box they're coming from. Mm -hmm. And I even added the starter decks. You know, so it's full of all that information. So like, say, for example... You want to trade a car for me, you know, and I don't have my deck. I could easily go on my phone and see where it is. I'm like, yeah, I have it. You know, the only thing it's missing it's uh, how many of the of copies I have of that mm. car. That's the only thing that's missing. Okay. Yeah. So, Danny, if you depending on how you organize it, like with this whole setup that I have here, I can go ahead and just uh, like filter out what I don't want to see, and then bam, cuts everything out. So now it's just red, yellow. And whites here, mm -hmm. so you can do this too if you all add it like in a certain way. Oh, so, so if, I, if, I, to, if yeah. I just want to see just reds and maybe just like the the rare shit, yeah, bam. Now oh, I look, got, now it's all secret rare only. Yeah. Oh, and uncommon, so I can filter out uncommon. Bam. bam. So now it's just rare, super Damn. rare. Damn. You see, look, bam. see different colors. So let's get, go to blue. I know the information is there. Nah. Let's see, Fuck yeah, common list. level two, <laughs> rarity level two, super rare. You know, because it's level six, you see it at the bottom. Oops. See level five, level six. Okay. So, so that's it. All right, you nerds. Anything else you guys do? This, anything else you do? This focus <laughs> with? Uh, kick it with you guys. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, I bought myself a oh a set four box of Digimon. The new one, right? The new one. Yeah, I got a lot of good rare ones and uh, super rare ones in that box. I didn't mention this last week, but I bought a new arcade stick and new buttons for my stick. Nice. I haven't been able to use it at all yet. I haven't been able to try it out, but I did that. The stick I bought, though, it wasn't working. It wouldn't go uh, right. Carlos. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong? It wasn't the wiring. It's actually the the, the, the board itself was, was fucked up. And so I had to rewrite some traces on it. Uh, it works now, but I haven't tried it yet. But just to let you guys know, I got new buttons and shit. Mm -mm. That's why I got a new button. Yeah. All right. 
T. Oh no, who else? Uh, Wags, you got something quick you want to say for your focus week? Um, I haven't. Oh, thank you. I, I haven't been doing too much. I've been busy with finals this last week. Uh, but this past weekend it was uh, my fiance's birthday, so we went horseback riding. She hurts. On the beach. <laughs> On the beach. No, no. Uh, no, fucking up then. There, I don't hear it. Burbank. <laughs> In Burbank. Not on the beach. I don't want to hear Burbank. it. After like a day, dude, it just gets all sore like right here. It's awful. Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, I've been playing some more Street Fighter Five. I got back into that because oh. Dan was released. Yes. And I'm a big lover of Dan. Damn. So okay. I'm good with him. Or, I don't know, decent. I have no one to compare to except Lily. I, I, I've been playing at uh, round one. Oh. So if you want to go round one someday and just play there, you should do that. Dan, Dan is on there. Dan is on there? Yeah. I want to play. I've been on the hunt for, since I started playing Dan again... I've been on the hunt for a, um, either like a Hori uh, gamepad or a Rayon controller. And it's just it's a controller with a D-pad, but with a six-button layout. Yeah, I, I've been I have one on my list that I I've been wanting to share it to you or like even just buy it for you someday. And I've never gotten around to do it. Yeah, I can't find every, everywhere before I would see them everywhere. Now I can't find a single Hori. Mm. And the price jumped up too. I don't know. I think oh, they stopped shit. making them. It Maybe. used to be like forty bucks. Now yeah, for like sixty. I'm like I refuse to pay the extra twenty dollars. <laughs> uh, and then I got really into UFS, even though I got no one to play with. And I've been busy like collecting cards individually and building decks. I have a Dan deck, uh, a, a Dan Arlinka deck, deck damn, and an Ash from Evil Dead deck. Mm. Nice. I got no one to play with besides this one. We'll try uh, it out it. today. Finally. Finally. Let's see if it's even worth it. UFS. I know I gotta get into that. To try it. Still haven't tried yet. You got cards, don't you? No, I don't. Ha- I don't think I have anything. You you might have a Volta deck like I do from back in the day. A, a oh, you know what? We uh, did we did it. buy something the first time it came yeah. out, huh? Yeah. I might actually I might have cards. Um, you know the game is surprisingly cheap to to, to buy cards for. Uh, that's yeah, a, like individual individual cards are not that expensive. Yeah. Mm. Some are, but a lot of them are not. Okay. Even the character cards like like they go for like sometimes a couple of cents, just a couple bucks oh, wow. sometimes. That's yeah. Not bad. We'll see. I mean, I I'm. All right, to my end, Focus Week, I'm wrapped up enough with Digimon. <laughs> I think since the last time we've been here, I, I bought one of those new boxes, split it with AJ. Um, BT4. You, yeah, it's cool. I, I feel like there's definitely more repetition in this. Like, there's less Digimon in this one, so it's kind of boring. Like, I don't like opening the packs and seeing the same fucking Digimon every time. Reminds me of, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! days, kind of. Hmm. Um, but, you know, it, it's it's okay. I mean, I think it's also, too, AJ pointed out the set's not really geared towards blue, and that's all I'm really interested in right now is blue and red. And um, they don't really have much for those. And also, um, there's a whole new system that I'm not 100% on how to use. Was it burns? Sideburns? Or for, uh, not sideburns. Or... Uh, burst? Burst. Digiburst. Digiburst. Oh. Yeah, that, that's a new mechanic. That's yeah. cool, I like the mechanic. Get, yeah. Getting rid of digivolutions for a cool effect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it's kind of it, like the XYZs, right? From, from Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah. So and you, you know what? It also it even strengthens the idea of blue, too, because... It's funny, there's no cards for blue, but that whole concept strengthens blues because blue takes away your Digivolution cards. So if you have Digiburst, blue takes that away from you. Oh, so blue's a natural counter to it's, Digiburst. Yeah, it became one as soon as that set came out. And I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'll keep playing blue. Like, it's going to counter a lot of shit. Um, there's a lot of Digiburst in, in the new, in the green, I noticed. I was like, shoot, I don't want to. Oh, really? Yeah, in the new set. Yeah, so, I think every piece has like a that type of Digiburst that exists in, in some color. Yeah. So everyone gets it. So anyone doesn't know we're talking about the Digimon card game. Yeah. Also, the reason why this uh, new set, set uh, which is called BT4, uh, is smaller is because the 1.0, 1.5 that we know here is actually BT1, BT2, and BT3. And they all kind of been split amongst each other. And that's why there are so huge sets. Uh, now, all the sets now, now that we're kind of almost caught up to Japan, we're going to get these sets like this size from now on. Yeah. Um, so it might be only worth it to buy like one box, maybe, maybe two, you know. Tai Chi, this is a spoiler alert for this episode. You know, usually I never heard of someone spoiling their own episode. But I'm going to spoil it for you right now. We are not going to talk about Loki because I'm the yeah. only one that saw it. Yes. So we can't talk about it. I have it. not watched it yet. I, my I only thing I'll say, only, I just said I'm the only one. Yeah, so, you could, you could, like, so we can't even have a conversation. Uh, but I will just say no. it, it was dope. It was the best first episode out of all the Marvel TV shows so far. Way better than Falcon Winter Soldier. Way better than mm-hmm. WandaVision episode one, you know? So... That's all I'll say. It's really good. Um, Did you finish it? Because last time I talked to you, it was no, yeah, like I'm half. Done. You're done. Oh, yeah. it. okay. it's, it's the best first episode well, for, for Marvel so for far. For sure, I'll see it tonight, no matter what. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to talk for about sure. Loki. I wish we, we could, but we're not going to. Next um, week. Other things. Two episodes. But I still had a fucking loaded on Focus Week because I did what I kept saying I was going to not do, 
and I fucking played Pokemon Snap. Oh, okay. Holy shit, I've been playing it fucking five days out of the week, man. That shit is so good. Nice. I'm on, I got, I think I got like five levels or six levels now. Okay. It's fucking good, man. I'm annoyed because I don't know how to get, how to awaken all the Pokemon and get all the secrets. And I don't want to cheat and look on YouTube. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just be patient and keep playing and fucking figuring shit out. And yeah, slowly I'm figuring things out. I'm unraveling things. That's cool. Yeah. Um, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Pokemon, the new Pokemon Snap is good. Yeah. It's uh, very reminiscent of the old one. Is it like, um, cause I remember in, uh, the original one, uh, like eventually at some point you got like the pester ball and like the, the pokey flute that and happens then, and, faster here. And then you would go back to uh, like older uh, levels and then use them and then unlock shit like that. That's still a thing. Yeah. That's still a thing. That's okay. still a thing. Yeah. All right. You, um, I think I just recently got all the three things you're talking about. Oh, yeah? I just recently got them all, and I think there's more things to get. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's an apple. Pest, uh, the pester ball is like an event ball. Like You do it, and it makes shit happen. So it's not exactly like you're throwing a thing that annoys the Pokemon. You're doing something that kind of incites energy and like makes them want to do shit, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and then the little music plays from your machine. They don't say it's a Poke Flute. They're saying that you're pushing a button and music is playing from your little car, you know? That's cool. <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. They, it's all updated. I love Pokemon Snap. Can you, too. like, hack it and start bumping, like, I don't know, like, some 2 chains so or something? Fucking, Ooh, <laughs> bitch, chains, get out the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, it, it's it's good. I'll make a little, there's a little cameo appearance from our boy Todd, you know, here and there. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay, you know, that's he's, cool. He's back. Nice. Um, yeah, Pokemon, new Pokemon Snap. I recommend it. Even though I don't know all the Pokemon, I still enjoy it. It's almost like a different experience from watching the old one, from mm-hmm. playing the old one, where you know everybody. Yeah. And, you know, you're over, not over it, but you know all these Pokemon well, and you're just waiting for them all to appear. Yeah. But this one, it's cool for me, because I'm kind of like, oh, I'm kind of learning the, what that Pokemon is. And, like, as things are happening, like, oh, shit, that can evolve, and that becomes this. I'm like, oh, I've never seen that Pokemon. And yeah. so it's, it's a cool experience, even though someone who's kind of old and doesn't really know about the new shit. Yeah, um, I I would be more shocked about seeing new sword because I'm not familiar with all the, with all the sword and shield Pokemon. Everything before that, I think I'm good with. Well, so. see, that's my weakness because I don't know if yeah, I've seen yeah. something from Sword and Shield or yeah, from Black you, and White. You haven't played since Black and White or, yeah, or Sun since, and Moon and all that, right? Yeah, the last one I bought was Black and White, but the last one I played was whatever was right before Black uh, and White. Diamond Pearl. <laughs> yeah, I have a black over there collecting dust or a white collecting <laughs> dust over there somewhere. It's never been taken out of its package. That's crazy. Um, but yeah, okay, so I've been playing Pokemon Snap almost every fucking night. It's great. Cool. Um, I squeezed in a little Splatoon, but I, honestly, I haven't had time to play Splatoon like that because I'm just fucking Snap. Um, other stuff. Uh, I've been watching Jupiter's Legacy, even though I know it's canceled. It's fucking it's cool, man. Chain. The fucking fighting is so cool. I can see why they're canceled. That shit's too expensive, man. <laughs> even sometimes they do just these little quick fights between characters, and it looks so dope. And I'm like... It's cool, and I'm happy, but you guys didn't have to do that. Like, mm. that's a waste of money. Man. Like, not a waste, but, you know, it's like, you didn't have to make it look that dope. You know what I mean? Like, I would have been cool with it even if it didn't look that good. Yeah. Like, you have to watch it. Like, just watch some of the scenes. Like, there's some girl that has this teleporting power, and you see her, like, go to another dimension and gather the power from another dimension and then teleport back in and hit somebody with it. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, that's dope. That is dope. It's super sick. <laughs> but I'm like, but I didn't, you didn't have to do that if the show's going to cost 200 million. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, and they do something Shoot. like that every episode. There's something like that that happens like often. Shoot. So yeah. I, I recommend people just skim through it. Even if you don't want to watch it, watch it. It's got some cool superhero shit in it. Yeah. Listening to like The Office, like their podcast that the, they're, they're doing, uh, they will mention sometimes like, yeah, we had this like this five second gag that cost us like $20,000 just for five seconds of footage. Like, wow. they, they're like for like this one thing they're talking about, they raised and but like gnats just for this one little gag that lasts like five seconds and those gnats were like they cost them like thousands of dollars that they're especially raised so they wouldn't like uh just fly um, away and so, disperse no so they wouldn't breed so the more wouldn't exist afterwards mm. okay. uh. yeah just for that one five second scene that barely anyone noticed so like I, I i can see what you're saying like yeah you didn't have to go all that way for that five second scene yeah the, exactly. little things like that can be expensive mm-hmm. so and it's that's dope. funny and it's dope I, I know why they did it. it sets the air for the show and makes you feel like damn i'm watching some epic shit but like if it bankrupts your show like what's the point you know yeah. <laughs> like, so that's but funny. but nevertheless i'm still watching it it's pretty cool um i've also watched what else um one Piece, man. I'm only, I'm like 15 episodes behind. One Piece is so fucking epic right now. Oh, you're almost catching up then. I, yeah, I'm not far, and I'm like, I don't want to catch up because I don't want to be right there and wait week to week again. I've 
a year of waiting only got me 30 episodes, which sounds like a lot. And then I just tore through like half of that already. You know? <laughs> sure. So yeah. One Piece uh, is great. I've been loving that. That's pretty good. 30 episodes for a whole year of waiting. How yeah. long have we been waiting for Hunter Hunter and we haven't got a chapter <laughs> at all? <laughs> don't remind me, man. I don't like to think about it. Oh. I'm good. I'm not caught up. Yeah, I'm, he, I'm he, he didn't see the last episode <laughs> of the anime, so he's not like, oh, I want to know. Like, <laughs> He knows it's out there. Um, other stuff for me. What else? Um... Oh yeah, I went to the comic book store. I caught, I bought the second book of Thor, the you know of Thor, the the one I was reading with the three with three Thors, and I bought this book I've been trying to get for a while, the Inkall. It's noted as one of the best comic books to ever be made, and this is made by Alejandro Jodorowsky. He usually makes movies, but he made a, he made a comic book. Complex. Name. And um, yeah, and he's teamed up with his famous artist from comics. Have you ever read comics for a while? You've seen this name at least thrown around, Mobius. Sorry, over here. Uh, for, 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 oh, Mobius for. is the planet that Sonic is from in the that too. series. That's probably what this guy named himself <laughs> after. I wouldn't doubt he named himself after that. But yeah, this guy has some crazy ass fucking art style. Um, yeah, he he's done a lot of stuff for Marvel, DC, Image, like you know, and he and he worked on this one with Alejandro Jodorowsky. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, I only read a little bit, of it and it's already pretty fucking good. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um. I think that covers most of it. I could go. I feel like I did more stuff. But let's, just, <laughs> let's just call it right there. That's, that's that's all the cool shit. Digimon. Yeah. Mobius is Va- Valerian. And yeah, Valerian. Yeah, that's his most popular. And thing. Loreline are good comics. Uh-huh. Yeah. Some of the best comics ever made. Valerian. Yeah, and then mm. fucking. Yeah, that's Mobius. He's, he's fucking. He's the shit. Interesting. All right. Let's do okay. This. this is the news. The news. The news. Let's get it. All right, you have a lot, T, so you can kick it off. All right. Um, so, I guess I'll start off with, oh, yeah, Shadow and Bone. Season 2 has finally got greenlit. Everyone was a little bit worried after fucking uh, Jupiter's Legacy, because <laughs> uh, I guess last week is when Jupiter's Legacy got canceled, and everyone's like, damn, Shadow and Bone was expensive, too. Like, fuck, are they about to cancel that as well? Damn. No, they got greenlit for season 2, so it's maybe, happening. Maybe they have to cancel Jupiter. Now I'll watch. Mm-hmm. Maybe, right. maybe they have to, have, to, have, to, have to cancel Jupiter so they can get money for Shadow and Bone. You know what's funny that you said? There might be some merit to what you're saying, because Netflix has been into the idea of funneling money more carefully. I don't know mm. if you remember at the beginning of the year, they said they're going to start budgeting more money into their shows. Mm. So the shows are starting to be... That, that's. But. Yeah, that was the beginning of the year, and that's probably why we got Jupiter's Legacy and mm. Shadow and Bone, because this is the result of them putting more money in the shows. And to keep that up, I'm sure they'll be canceling things at a higher rate if they're not successful. So you're probably right about that, Maybe, AJ. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense to me. But yeah, um, there's even a video online you can see with all the actors reacting to the fact that they got greenlit finally. Uh, but yeah, so Shadow and Bone's continuing. Look forward to it. Uh, season 2 will be coming out next year. Okay. AJ? Oh, you want me to go? Oh, you want me to do another one? Yeah, go. You have a lot. Yeah, I have like five stories to you. Oh, what? You didn't tell me that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marvel has announced the death of Doctor Strange in the comics. Whoa. I don't yeah, really... Yeah. yeah, they started teasing it last week. Uh, we don't know too much about it. All we know, the creative... It's going to be written by Jed McKay, and the artist is going to be Lee Garbit from Captain Marvel recently. Uh, Jed McKay has been writing the current Moon Knight and uh, Black Cat Stories. He's been writing those. Uh, Very interesting pick to give him Doctor Strange. I don't know if he's been doing it lately. But yeah, they're going to kill off Stephen Strange. Um, That's crazy. That's saying a lot. I mean, because this motherfucker has already died a gang of times. Oh, fuck. He always fucking dies and finds some way to like... Come back. Yeah, he's like a lawyer of a lawyer of magic. He finds like loopholes to fucking get out of (laughs) shit. That's funny. One time, like, he he told... he, He summoned all these demons and shit and said, All right. I'm here to let you guys collect my soul. And somebody's like, I got... He's, and he's like, I got the fucking contract for Strange's soul. He's like, wait, he sold me his soul too. And they were like, no, he sold me his soul back in this year. And they all started <laughs> fucking fighting each other over Doctor Strange's soul. And that's what he wanted. Like a big-ass chaos moment. Yeah. So he could do something, you know? That's funny. And I'm like, that, that's how he rolls, you know? <laughs> like, and he's still alive. That's crazy. Um, But yeah, so... Yeah, but he's really gonna die somehow. You think it'll be in the news like uh, when Cap died? No, I don't feel like Doctor Strange has the impact of Captain America um, or Spider-Man, you know? Yeah. I don't think so. But, you know, this is interesting. I wonder if this is going to tra- – hopefully this doesn't translate to the movies. I hope that's not what they're doing this for is to get this coming. I feel I hope like. not. I don't know. Yeah, but I, I, I'm afraid they're going to start trying to kill off older characters like now as things are going on, you know? Mm-hmm. But we'll see. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so... Yo, okay. What if Disney, now that Disney owns Marvel, what if they're trying to kill off all the old school OG characters and to, to fucking put out their own like new characters uh, and maybe just kind of... Uh, you know, start this whole new line that's more like Disney or like more like kid base. For example, like Miles Morales and so forth. You know, what if like in ten years from now, we're like like Iron Man, Captain America, Doctor Strange, all that's gonna be like something of the old past, and now the new things would be like Miles Morales and like mm. Spider Gwen and whatever else. Like I could see that Iron Heart and all that shit, right? I feel like that's definitely something they're kind of. I don't think they're going that way a hundred percent, but I de- think that's definitely the way that they're kind of going. Because they want to get our minds ready for that as comic book readers first, so we're not pissed when we see it in the movies. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah that's what I think. I think so. Anyways. Boring. <laughs> yeah, I think it depends. I think some of them are cool. Mm. But yeah, this one I don't know about. I like I like Stephen Strange for a little bit longer. Um, other things. Um, um, yeah, no, you go ahead. You go ahead and tell one. All right, then. So um, I heard about this. I seen an ad for this, and I was like, what the heck is this? And then uh, apparently this is a this, this is a game called Pal World. This is the official trailer from a company called Pocket Pair. And a lot of I, I think from what I heard, this is supposed to be someone that used to work for Pokemon went to this company and they made this game, which people are saying is Pokemon mixed with Breath of the Wild, just because of that style of graphics and all that. And it, it definitely also has look, guns. It, it looks and it has guns. It yeah. looks like Pokemon mixed with Breath of the Wild. Yeah, like the Breath of the Wild graphics, and you have those cute little animals. Doing power you're, shit. You're farming and stuff like that, too, right? But you also have guns, too. And, like, your your monster over there, you know, can fight with you. Um, there, there's all types of crazy stuff in this game. That looks like, yeah, like a Lycanroc. That's a Gyarados. You can even, dude, you can, you can fucking DNA Digivolve. You can DNA breed. Digivolve. <laughs> Look at this. You're using this fucking sheep wow. as a shield. Wow. Wow. Just, just throwing him in the battle and stuff. Why like, oh, he has a rocket Oh, shit. A rocket head. church. What is this store? game? Look what? at it. And fucking slave labor going wow. on. Wow. Dude, what is this the game? This is called Pal World. Yo, this looks pretty badass. It looks I'm, pretty sick, too, right? I'm interested just it's to see what's Bowser up with here. it. got Bowser here. For real. Is Nintendo going to sue? Because this is. The, the, I, I don't know. It, it, yeah, like, that Gyarados is too Everyone's Gyarados. saying this is Nessa from um, Sword and Shield. So yeah, there's a lot of like Pokemon similarities going on in here and stuff like that, right? A very, very interesting l- little little trailer there that I had after this game here. Um, and it gets even scarier. Like in their description, there's survival going on, writing and exploration. They're saying. Uh, let's read more here on their. Uh, on their uh, Steam page, but this is supposed to be coming out like later this year. There's building, there's life, there's farming, factory, and automation is another thing they're uh, talking about in this game. Um, it is essential for automation and let pals do the manual work. I guess pals are the monsters in this world. Uh, build a factory and place pals in it. They will work forever as long as they are fed until the end of their lifetime. Whoa. <laughs> right? <laughs> so there's like stuff like that in, in their wow, description of this game and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, a very interesting little game. Uh, these are the same people that made something called Craftopia as well. If anyone's familiar for that, don't know that. Um, but yeah, this almost looks like what people want for Pokemon. Almost. I don't shoot Pokemon. Just, just, just not, just without the guns though, right? With the rocket launcher, I'm down. It's not a Nintendo game. It's it's yeah. It's it's some other company. So I mean, look out for that. I'm not sure how big it's gonna be, What's but it looks. Uh, uh, it's on Steam so far. Oh okay. I'm not sure if it's gonna be coming out for anything else. Oh actually, this is a uh, uh, plan to release in 2022. So sometime next year. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out later on if it's worth it or not. But that that was our trailer that just put out, and it, it looks kind of epic. Okay. So. I'm just blown away by them. Trying to capture a Pokemon with machine guns. Right? I'm not sure if they're catching it, or maybe they're attacking the enemy and using the the, the, the the monster as a distraction as they shot down the enemy. That's what it looked like. I don't think they're actually shooting at the Pokemon. But uh, there's one scene where you they sniped something in the middle of a field, so I don't know. Like a, like a baby Embo or something? Yeah. Looks right. like a total blatant ripoff. Uh, yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> the designs are way too similar. I mean, no, no, dog, it's totally different, guys. There's no Pokeballs. True. <laughs> that we saw. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, imagine there is something like that. It's a Poke Cube. A Poke Box. It's a I'll Cube. say a bo- Poke Box. It's a Pal Cube, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, other quick news. Uh, so, the Smash Brothers final DLC character might have got spoiled. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, the speculation is because 
Someone who works for Doom Eternal says they they saw a video that they're working on for a trailer, and it was playing the song Life Light in the background. Do you know Life Light? I don't. That's the lead song from Smash Brothers Ultimate. Okay, okay, yeah. And they're saying with the Doom logo, that music oh, was playing in the back. Oh, from Doom. And, yeah, and so people think the last character will be the Doom Slayer. Or at least one of the last, because there's two more left, supposedly. That seems so inappropriate for Smash. Me, I agree. I hope it's not the fucking Doom Slayer, bro. I really want someone more cartoony and more Nintendo-y, but they, I wouldn't Nintendo be surprised if it was Doom Slayer. They've been picking people like that a lot lately. Just, just weird-ass so characters. Just throwing in anything in that game. Yeah, dude. I like Ever since Terry Bogart and Ryu, I'm kind of like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it doesn't feel right to me anymore. Like, it's starting to feel... Like, Snake, I let it go. Like, that was cool, because it, it's so rare. Mm -hmm. Like, And he was the only one, but now there's a bunch of people like that. I'm like, kind of over it. Hey, where's Robotnik and shit, man? Come on. Oh, that's true. I know, dude. Robotnik, Robotnik. Doom guy. We need, so we, need we need tails and knuckles too. Right? Yeah. Tai Chi says, "I think his name is Doom Guy. Yeah. All one word, Doom Guy." <laughs> that's right. What we were calling him before they revealed his name as the Doom Slayer. I'm sure. <laughs> All right. Um, other piece of news. Uh, Build a Bear's got a new collaboration project. These guys just don't stop with their nerd collaborations. I think this is the highest level nerd collaboration they've done. Build a Bear is now doing drum roll. Oh, I, I, I think that's you gave me two one. emails. Yeah, that's, that's, for, that's for later. That's for later. Oh, is it that's this one? The one. Build a Bear, Lord of the Rings, man. Whoa. Look at that shit. Oh my God, I want the he has the whole. I want the beard. Is that Frodo? I like how Gollum's just Gollum. He's not even a bear. <laughs> he's not even a bear. He's all. Yeah. Um, no, nah, yeah, he's, he is. That's funny. Oh, man. You know. How much yeah, 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 Squirtle that I got from Build a Bear, Anthony. Yeah. I tried to put the hoodie on Grimlock. He's, oh no. He's too fat. He's okay. Too big. Yeah. He's too fat. <laughs> His cat. Uh, Build a Bear bears they go for like 30, 20 bucks maybe, but like these these type like go for like thirty maybe forty. Mm, and okay. then what's fucking crazy about Build a Bear? All the like shit they're wearing. If it doesn't come with it naturally, you gotta pay for that shit. And they cost the same price as actual clothes, like as, a as your jacket. regular clothes. Like your jacket's like like ten oh, bucks. Shit. Yeah, shoes for like five bucks and shit. Yeah, freaking you know like uh, uh Carla's niece's nephew. They all have one, right? And they mm -hmm. they go to the store and fucking buy shit like that all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I IRL DLC says Tai Chi for reals. <laughs> um, is, is this the whole collection? Is just these two characters and the side plushies? It, it may be just these, uh, because usually it, they'll yeah, show I think you it all. Just... The, yeah, they don't usually hide shit. Um, yeah, this is the full set. Yeah, because even when they announce uh, the sixty-five dollars per bear, oh, damn, that's, probably, that's probably with all the accessories and all that. Yeah, it says yeah, yeah stuff animals that also come preloaded with five sounds. Because my bubble sword was like fifty bucks with you all the can, accessories. You can get Sauron in this. <laughs> I'm at a Sauron bear. That'd be awesome. Um, apparently, what's, they what's the dragon's name? That'd be cool. Apparently, they say things from the movie too. So the bear says, "You the shall not box. pass." That's cool. Well, that the, the yeah, Gandalf like, bear yeah. says you shall not pass. Yeah, the actors' voices or like yeah, it says from the movie. Shut up. Small. They got Ian McKellen's voice on that bear. Yeah, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. That's funny. See, I knew who this was made for. It is yeah. only made for Bundle certain... includes sound. It says right there in the middle too in the ad. Yeah, I'm like wow. One that's... collection to rule them all. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. I kind of get it. <laughs> all right, um, Wags, you you already know about this man, the Captain America. The Marvel Legends. That shield, man. I am digging that shield. That, that shield looks, looks pretty Oh, sick. so this is like an actual, like, legit, like, actual thing you can buy? It's a, it's a one for one uh, replica. It's Ooh. the correct size. Made out of actual vibranium? No. Well, it's going to be for a toy. It's going to be for it's a toy, right? Like aluminum or something. No, no, this is not for a toy. This is an actual this is a human shield. thing. Yeah. This is, you, can, you can wear it. It's, me it's metal. It's heavy. It's, it's 24 inches wide, D. T. D. Hmm. Damn. That's two feet. It's $119.99. Oh, price went up. How much? $120. $120. My birthday's coming up, guys. With free, <laughs> free shipping for August, uh, the colors of the stealth shield are muted for uh, stealth. Yeah, Tai does have, <laughs> have a, a cap shield. Not this one. But he does have a shield. The, the yeah. last cap shield was 100 And then the one before. Because they've done this. Is, I think this is the third or fourth cap shield that they've done. Hey, man. Vibranium ain't cheap, man. Yeah. Yo, there's also a Wolverine Marvel Legends pack cool. they put out too. Wags uh, it has. I want that Wolverine, but I really don't care for um, the other three characters. Like Omega Red, yes, but the other. Three I knew you were gonna say Omega Red, yes. You don't care don't... about, but Wolverine and Dracula had an epic fight. Dracula. I want that Wolverine. Like I like that shirtless Wolverine, but Cyber maybe, but he died and he wasn't that mm -hmm. big of a Who? Villain. Who? Cyber, the blue dude. Oh, I don't even know who he is. Oh, his arms are Dracula. adamantium. 
Oh, he's got adamantium arms? Yeah. That's what I want. Damn. That's a five-pack Marvel Legends Wolverine set, guys. I don't have a picture of that, but it's well, got him and a lot of his icon iconic villains with him. He's shirtless. Uh, includes Omega Red, Cyber Castillo, uh, Callisto, sorry, Cyber Callisto, and um, Dracula. Yeah. Is so. oh, that Dracula? That's uh, <laughs> a dude from... Um... They didn't name him, so I just called him Dracula. Oh, sh what's his name? Uh, he was... Um... Oh, sorry. No, they did. That's Mastermind. I, I Jason was, Wingard. I yeah, say you're right. But I knew that was wrong. It's not Mastermind. You know, because I read that comic where Wolverine did fight Dracula, so I, I was like, oh, it must be him. <laughs> like, you know... <laughs> Mastermind um, is not a Wolverine villain. He's like an X-Men. He's like an X-Men. Yeah. He's like from uh, from Hellfire Company. Right? There's so many more iconic villains they could have chosen for this. Like, Callisto. Uh... Like, I'm so shocked that Sabretooth is not here. <laughs> like, you wouldn't be... Or know. Lady Deathstrike wouldn't Lady be here. Lady Deathstrike, but for sure. Maybe there's, cool. too, maybe there's too many of them. I don't know. Um, the pre-orders for this are live on Amazon for $120.99. Yeah, it was... It cool. costs as much as the fucking shield. It costs more. <laughs> Jesus Christ, December 15th. Oh, I, my God. I passed on this because the price was too high and it came with too many characters I didn't care for. But I do want that Wolverine. Do you have a mastermind? I don't need a mastermind. I'm right here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what's, right. the, what's the name of the team he belongs to? With X Factor. And, um, no, no, no. Alpha Flight? No, not Alpha Flight. Uh, the, uh, Emma Frost was on it, too. Hellfire Club. That's Yeah, I couldn't remember the name. Hellfire Club. Mm. That's his team. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, another quick Marvel connection here. Kevin Feige has made his first comic book appearance. Like in a comic? Like yeah, check, the, check the other email. <laughs> oh, that's what the other one is? Directing in the back? Yeah, so <laughs> uh, apparently, the, you know, the X-Men all had a big Hellfire Gala where all the famous, all the most powerful mutants met, and they invited some famous humans to come. Mm -hmm. And guess who's among the invitees? <laughs> Fucking Kevin Feige, bro. With the hat and shit. With the hat funny. and everything. <laughs> and I'm like, damn... And you know what? It's funny. This seems like a little joke gag, but I think this is also speaking to the future connectivity with him and the mutants. No, that's what I think too. And like you know, oh. I think he might be drawing from a Jonathan Hickman from the Jonathan Hickman story, which maybe the Krakoa era will Jonathan have something Hanks. to do. Yeah, because I'm just like it's just weird. It's just random. I feel like maybe they're just trying to like let you know, like he does. He is involved in X Men. You know, like we're we're getting there. We're getting there. You know. That's funny. It's yeah. Like Han. We'll get there. Oh, I watch uh, Fast and Furious. I've been uh, catching up on Fast and Furious because Nine's coming out pretty soon. Yeah, I almost sat there and watched Four with Ooh. you guys. I happened. Ooh, fuck you guys. Yeah, those I movies suck, but like it's it okay. They don't suck. I think they kind of suck, but it's okay. I, I was trying to watch Four with them because they were in the middle of watching. It looked okay. Number Four looked not bad. When that guy says the streets always win and he stomps the ground, that was the end for me. Yeah, man, that was the best line in the movie. That was the end. For Wait, me. I almost want to know. <laughs> I almost want to know. <laughs> Like after the third movie, and then he they, fall, for and me, then he they started the like floor. being thumbs down all the way. But that movie just crushed it for me. I was like, I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah, That's man. what makes fun of Steven because that feels so like he's into really it. into the Fast and Furious. We always make fun of him like, boo. You know? <laughs> the other Steven's also into it. Which one? The Steven that's hang out with us. Oh, or, really? Yeah. He's really into well, that. That's him right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but boo. <laughs> Which I need to go to his server to watch eight because now I'm an eight. I don't own eight, so I need that. Uh, I need that. Cause it don't fit in that fucking box they gave you that was supposed to right. fit all the movies. Boo! What now? He says. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, there's a scene where like uh, Vin Diesel stomps the floor, and actually breaks. There was a reason I mean? that was happening though. It's because yeah, bro, it, got like, by, it got hit by a missile. No, true. That's true, crumbling. bro. Come on, dude. So that fool bit it. His life on stomping the ground, yeah, hoping it was gonna work, yeah, and it that's actually wild. crushes okay. down. That's wild. I see what you're saying. <laughs> it that's kind of wild. Down, making see? everything work. I was for me. I it was, was already doing, cracking. Like, it was gonna happen it. anyway. Is whether or not he stomped. It, it was not gonna happen. <laughs> that, nah, dude. For me, that was it. I was like, nah, dude. Okay, all right. So what's the point of the news here? Oh, uh, I don't know. That wasn't news. That, that, that was just, that was just fast. Yeah, okay, you're just bringing that up. Yeah, okay, and then Danny's just complaining. I'm not trying to hear that. I don't know. Man. I'm gonna tell you, bro. It's just hard for me to bring myself to watch it because I know what I'm getting myself into. Like I've I've heard. But do you? I, I, do you? I think I, I'm sad to say I think I do. But, All right. Another ridiculous news. Yeah, if yeah I may. Go, go for it. Go for it. All right. So um, y'all know who Logan Paul is, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker has ass beat at light speed. <laughs> uh, so he had a uh, an actual boxing match with uh, Floyd, Floyd, Mayweather. Yeah, Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather. Looked like yeah. Rock Lee versus Gara. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> when Mayweather was like everywhere, and this one was like, Ugh. <laughs> uh, I I heard though that it was like just a, a big huggy match, like that's all it was, and supposedly there's also a point where um 
Uh, Floyd Mayweather got a punch in, just a simple punch, and actually knocked down Logan. But uh, like fucking Floyd Mayweather caught him and made sure he like revived real quick. So they, yeah, because so he wanted it to end. go on so he could yeah. make some more money. He was yeah. an also though, uh, in the contract, there's supposed to be no winners. What? There's wow. Actually, there's no See, I didn't know about that. You know what's funny? He actually came out talking about that that moment where he knocked him out. Oh, yeah? And he hold him. He's like, no, nah, that didn't happen. He just said that? Yeah, you guys are just tripping. He's That's like, funny. Fuck, he's like, fuck, stop talking about that, you know, because you guys are tripping. Who, but, who, who, I, who said that? Mayweather or, or Logan? He said that. Logan Paul? Logan, yeah. But yeah. I'm like, Come on, bro. That scene, you like you can't hide he, that. He hits him. And he just straight off like. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> ball, you know? yeah. yeah, he totally went out. Maybe he just doesn't remember it. <laughs> hey, that's very possible. He probably doesn't remember it. <laughs> that is so true. Anyway, uh, that, that it's an exhibition fight, which is uh, pretty true too. Says uh, diplomats. Uh, but the one thing I wanted to talk about though was you, you know like fucking Floyd Mayweather uh, came out with his fucking chain and shit, right? Did you see what uh, uh, Logan Paul was wearing on his neck? Charizard. Wow, that's a fucking Charizard. Oh, I don't have this on screen though. But yeah, he's wearing a Charizard on a chain. I think the Charizard, it, it, I think it's been graded. And usually <sighs> when cards have been graded, they're worth a little more. And then he also has it like on a chain. I think their frame that's holding the graded card is kind of like a diamond type of thing too. So his chain costs just as much as Mayweather's chain, Probably, basically. Yeah. Wow, wow. Exactly. wow, his chain with the Pokemon card. Damn, dip it. says one milli. It's a PSA ten. So yeah, it's it's, it's Damn. fucking perfect graded. Wags knows what that is. I think it's the Charizard from the first it's set. Perfect. It is. Condition. Yeah, I think it's a first edition Charizard two, which I looked it up real quick. Hey, it's I, going uh, for about two thousand dollars. May I say I feel like we were just in an anime right now when this full set PSA 10 and then the only one who reacted was Will like you know, <laughs> in anime there's always one person in the group that knows what that means like he's from that class like oh shit and everyone's what like what does that mean what does that mean yeah yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah damn man okay so he's more balling than Mayweather right now yeah man he gets a fucking first edition Charizard PSA 10 man that's crazy. He just wears around his he neck. He's wearing around his like neck, yeah. He exposes it to the elements, like light and <laughs> No, but it's still in the casing, dude, so it's all good. And it's made of is, diamonds, so it protects it. Is that casing um, UV protected? I don't think he would bring it out here on a gamble, bro. Yeah, true, right? <laughs> he seems pretty serious if he diamond encrusted the... the... Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sure pretty sure, is. yeah. I'm sure it's all right. Uh, Even if it wasn't, at least he got to, you know, just, you know, flaunt it out for a little bit, you know? That's bling right there, bro. That's right. some next level bling. Whoa. Do you think we're the ones getting excited about that Pokemon? <laughs> no. Whoa. No, I think that was the no. point, though, is for, like, people like us who know him and know what to he has. To get behind his back. To, yeah, to fucking be all hyped about it, where everyone else, like, the fuck is he doing that for? Like, like what is that? What is yeah, this? exactly. Anyone who actually paid the uh, PPV or uh, pay-per-view for the fight literally just deposited money directly into these assholes. <laughs> oh, I, didn't, sure. I didn't even watch the fight. I not me either. I knew what was going to happen. It's so fake. He's a it's, pro. Well, it's not fake. It's just that he's never going to win. It's a fucking pro no, versus somebody who's just a rookie. The way I imagine that this fool had a private uh, meeting with uh, Floyd Mayweather. He's like, hey, look, bro, like, if we do this and... You know, we pretend we don't know each other. I'm talking shit to you. Like, come on, bro. There's going to be a lot of money in your pocket. And I feel agreed. So when they came out in public, they act like they don't know each other. But everything's been already said. Yeah, I bet you. Yeah, yeah no, that, sure. that part. Yeah, yeah I agree that, with you. Just that yeah. scene where, like, he literally knocks them out. And that fool flops. And that fool saves them. I'm like, that's it. Like, I want to see that scene. You know? Like, they, you're right. Well, see, that's what I mean. I don't think it was it was planned out as far as the fight. But as far as the event, yeah, I yeah. think you're right. I think they were talking shit for fun. And like, yeah. We all know. Yeah, it's, it's like a regular boxing match. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I think. Was, I think that, that, that fight those, was all fake. Are those real shoes? Is that Patty from Doug and the... Arnold? Yes, I, I just saw this like randomly on the same Twitter that I, I got that uh, clip from. I like that looks like kind of sick. Some baseball player with his cleats got some custom made uh, Doug and, and uh, Hey Arnold kicks right there uh, probably, probably, socks. probably painted and everything too though oh they're probably hand drawn they look yeah they look, really hand -drawn. They look pretty dope though yeah. i i, I want to get shoes just to do this now actually to go ahead and draw on them shoes i'll be down I, I was some, like some, some chucks or something like that and like find an artist to, to do that okay i'm kind of down to do that that's dope anyways right. my turn yeah so wags oh wags. shit two days ago uh -huh. Bruce Campbell posted on his Twitter that Evil Dead Rise is starting production. I heard about I'm that. fucking interested. And they still are not say they're being tight-lipped about what it's about. Mm -hmm. They won't say. Is it a sequel to the old movies, to that newer movie, or the show? They won't say. I heard that it's a it's a reboot again. No, not another one. Bruce Campbell did officially retire from the role. I know he's not going to play. He's not gonna, executive producer. Um, they're going to reboot sure it again? Cameo, but not as <sighs> 
I, I'm okay with the reboot. I'm okay with New Blood. That's fine. I, I would have preferred a, a sequel to the last reboot. But yeah, I mean, that's I what I want. I want a sequel to the last yeah. one. Like, tell me more about that. Tell like, me more, I was interested to see tell me more. that girl become like the new. Ash. Yeah, yeah really I cool. was into it. Like, especially that one guy was wearing that blue shirt, and I thought he was gonna be Ash, and he gets murdered, and you're like, oh. And fucking... <laughs> yeah, and you're like, okay, I guess it's not him. And then like, she get it was it was great. I liked yeah, it. Yeah, I don't it was know. A nice, like, tease. I almost cool. want to watch it again now. That we you know what about I wish it. they would do? What's Marvel that? zombies and you know, in movies, real life. And then you see Ash pop out in that. With well, the, you know the, what the there book. was a comic book crossover. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That shit was well, awesome. Well, you know, there's going to be an episode of What If about Marvel zombies, right? Oh, I wish they made a movie. That'd be so dope. Well, you know, I was saying, um, you were, I don't think you were here last week, but I was saying, you know, the cool thing about the What If thing is, with the exception of Chadwick Boseman, they can bring any of the What If characters into the real universe when Multiverse of Madness happens. Mm-hmm. And if you guys will see fucking Loki, we can talk a lot more about that is it tonight. Out? Did it start? Did it start? It's tonight. already out. Let's watch it tonight. Yeah, Let's watch it right now. I can't watch we it. Can, we can watch after this. Uh, real quick, um, you guys, did you hear about the Evil Dead game that's coming out? You know, someone mentioned that it was coming, but I don't know much about it. What do you know? It's supposed to be like a, like a Left 4 Dead or um, um, Dead by Daylight type Ooh. play style where you, you're on a team and you have to fight Deadites, but then like the other team are Deadites. Oh. So it's like, yeah, it's like. Left for dead sort of. Do you get the power of like pulling people through the forest though? You gotta have so. you gotta have shit like that though. <laughs> if you so. don't have that, then like what's the point of being a deadite? Yeah. I, I'm super in and they got like characters from all across the franchise, like from the movie, the TV series. You can be a uh, um what's his name? Um King Arthur. <laughs> oh <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And then the characters from the TV series, like Pablo and uh Kelly. Oh, okay, that's pretty dope. It looks pretty cool. I'm I'm ready for that. I'm ready for a new Evil Dead game. Yeah. Cuckoo was talking about how there was a uh, a plan, a script for a uh, Ash versus Freddy and Jason. Yeah, it didn't it didn't happen because uh, Sam Raimi didn't want to give up control of the character Ash mm. because someone else would be writing his character. So he was like afraid of how they handled it. Yeah. So he said no ultimately, but the script did survive and it got turned into the comic book. Oh okay. Oh really? There's a comic for that now. Okay, yes. that's cool. Ash versus Freddy versus Oh, I think it's Freddy versus Jason versus Ash. I think Ash's name. So one v one v one. So is that two v one? Yeah. TV group. They're all against each other. <laughs> like, Damn, okay. And then it did so well that there was a sequel comic called um, the same thing, Freddy vs. Jason for Ash, but it was called Nightmare Warriors, and that one was really good. Interesting. So groovy. If you're, if you're I really say, know. you say interesting, I say groovy. <laughs> the covers were fucking beautiful. That's crazy. I don't know if you know, AJ, that's what Ash always says. Oh, that's also, that scared me for like, I thought it was my 3D <laughs> printer like falling over or some shit. It could, it could have been that. It's not like you're riding a tricycle. <laughs> All right. Other news that I got real quick here. Uh, Arc System Works. The bakers behind like Blas Blue, uh, Guilty Gear and all that, right? Uh, even uh, Dragon Ball Fighters. Um, supposedly, this is a rumor. I wish I had the soundboard set up so I can hit my I heard a rumor button. Um, <laughs> but uh, they might be working on a My Hero Academia fighting game. Really? Doesn't someone else have the license for that? Who? Someone else has the license for that right now. Uh, as far as making a game for it? Yeah, there's already a fighting game for oh. Minecraft Damia. Who, uh, who has it? Do you I know? I think it's Bandai Namco. Interesting. Wait, wait. So who is this? You're but talking about, it, AJ? Uh, Arc System works. Which got... Also, Arc System did work with Nam, uh, Namdai to do Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, they did? Yeah, they teamed oh, up for that. It's a partnership. Yeah, okay. so maybe it's another thing like that. Maybe? Well, yeah, because I, I bet you that is what's happening because that last My Hero Academia game failed. No way. Yeah, it didn't sell that well. Whoa, that's... Well, it, no it, it might have succeeded even... in Japan, but not here. Like, we didn't buy it. Yeah, didn't yeah and we all watch it, so it's like, this is enough. <laughs> like, that's I true. actually want to start watching it, so that's like next to my list. Okay, almost all of us <laughs> have watched it. It's, um, it's good, man. If you yeah, like superheroes yeah, and you like anime. Cool. I haven't started good. the new season. Like, I'm caught up the last season, but I haven't started the new season. That, time. that, that rumor, though, um, was uh, I went to go look for it, and it was a 4chan post that's gone now. Uh, so... The fact that it's gone now is also suspicious, right? Um, and then also said that um, someone also mentioned that Arxis only makes like one game a year. And uh, they already have Strive, Guilty Gear Strive, coming out this year. And they say they have plans for next year, a game called uh, Dungeon Fighter Duel. So either this is like a, like them like getting ready to do it and maybe it's going to come out in a couple of years. 
or maybe because Guilty Gear Strive was delayed. That was supposed to come out earlier this year, though, right? It just came out later, so I guess that's still within this year. Oh, no. I yeah, it, 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 I think it is out now. Yeah, I think it just came out. That's right. Um, so I don't know, but that'd be cool. I like I, I know this anime is all about like fighting and all that, so like I wouldn't mind it. Uh, also, I mean, My Hero Academia also has uh, UFS cards coming out too. I think they're already out. They're already out there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, actually, uh, Wags, you want these since you helped me in that purchase? Give me, give me. I don't know what they are, but give me. Ah! They came uh, when I bought that UU box that we split on. Uh, that came. Oh, I, these came. Yeah, I got we got I got four of them, so I also got the same sets too. Oh, thank you. So you can have the other ones since you went halves with me on that. Okay, I got a few quick a few other pieces of news to tear through. Yeah. Uh, connected to My Hero Academia. Yes. If anyone's been watching the anime, this last arc ended just the last week for My Hero Academia, and it announced what the next season is going to be based on, My Villain Academia. So wait, this last episode that we saw is the... I, I didn't see it, but yeah, I just... That was the last episode? That was the last one for the season. What? But <laughs> the next season's going to start up later in the year, I think. Like September or something. Oh, okay. Uh, and the I next season... disappointed. And the next season's theme will be My Villain Academia. It's going to be all about the bad guys, specifically. No hero... Only time you'll see the heroes is when they're fighting the villains. It's, mm. Otherwise, it's going to follow their backstory, who they are, and what their plan is. Okay. And so, yeah, My Hero Academia is transitioning into My Villain Academia. Oh, that starts next week. Okay, no, so next week. Oh, next week, okay. They just took a one-week break. All right, all right. Um, yeah, so keep an eye out for My Villain Academia. Uh, other cool things as far as anime goes. Uh, Blade Runner. I'm sure people are fans of Blade Runner. I don't know if you knew that there's been a whole like relaunch franchise for Blade Runner ever since 2049. And there will be a Blade Runner anime coming called Blade Runner Black Lotus. It's going to premiere on Adult Swim in Canada July this year. With Arnold Schwarzenegger as one of the cartoons. <laughs> no, Blade Runner, not um, not uh, Running Man. Not, not Terminator. Oh, Man. Okay. Yeah, very close, though. Very similar. Uh, but yeah, Crunchyroll and Adult Swim will both be streaming these. It's going to be 13-episode anime just about Blade Runner and their world. And it's connected to that movie, the original one, and Blade Runner 2049, and the animated things that was made by the other people, including the Cowboy Bebop creator. There's, there's an anime short made for Blade Runner by the Bebop creator, Shinichiro mm. oh, Watanabe. Awesome. I gotta watch the new one. I haven't seen, I've seen Me that. either, bro. I want to rewatch the old one first. Oh, man. I, I showed it to Lily because she had never heard of it. Mm -hmm. First, I'm like, oh, have you seen Blade Runner? She's like, no. I'm like, I smile and she's like, yes, yes, I have, yes, I have. <laughs> 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 yeah, she, it was probably too boring for her, though, huh? She, yeah, she didn't dig it. She had no idea what was going on. Which one, the original or the new one? The original. OG. Mm. You guys see the OG? I don't think the new one makes any sense because I think it's a, it's literally a sequel. Like, oh, it was? it's literally going to be a complete sequel to the to the original one, 2049. Yes. I got and it. and I heard everyone loves it. And it's made by fucking Denny Villeneuve. I love Denny Villeneuve. That's the guy doing Dune, and he did Sicario. Oh, you were telling me about Dune. How amazing that is. Dude, and he's doing the Dune movie. And he made Sicario and Arrival. And I love both of those and movies. Sicario was pretty yeah. dope. Sicario, man. And, dude, after I'm seeing lost. the knife fights in S Sicario, Dune is going to be sick. Because Dune is all about knife fights and shit. Mm. Knife and sword fights. And I'm like, dude, seeing, imagining that guy being in control of it, it's going to be sick, man. I'm sure. excited. Hey, Didn't hey, even finish that movie. Though, can I just say two. something about the... I didn't watch the second one. Quick. The powers on this Izuka are so like spot on to his actual character. Oh, yeah? They're, they match it very... Because you know, when he uses his full strength, his body is just fucking done. And this is like, discard your whole hand. Your next oh, attack shit. does plus 10. Oh, shit. Like, like, oh, shit. Plus 10? Plus 10. That's very accurate to the game, to the <laughs> anime, yeah. So they officially changed the back of the card then. Now yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Wow. Like, going, I think going forward from now on, it's going to be like that. Versus. Yeah, uh, but I remember reading rules saying that um, even though their backing is different and their their art is different on the front, they'll still be playable amongst each other as long as players play with sleeves that block the block the back. Oh, Do you okay. know of any card game that's changed their back in like their entire like Magic no. same back for twenty five years? Yeah, I was, I was worried about Pokemon. Pokemon, Pokemon changed their back. No, they haven't. No, no. No. They did, didn't they? No. The only difference that is Jap Japan's uh, backing is different than in English. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking about. That's the only difference. Pokemon even changed companies, and they still kept the same back. A smart, smart. Move. Yeah. From right. Wizard of the Coast. So that's weird that these guys, and they've been going on for a long time too. Yeah, that's why I was weird changing, too. But maybe the they, maybe they want to rebrand just to make it make it look more poppy, so people will like may, may be more interested. Maybe. I mean, this does look really nice compared to the old. Well, the old one does look old. Yeah. And this <laughs> looks nicer, but I don't know. If you if you make a card game, you just stick with what you did. Yeah, I know. Oh well, we'll see what happens with them. This is cool though. I do dig it. All right. Uh, other quick things. 
Uh, since I was talking about how Shinichiro Watanabe, the creator of Bebop, had done Blade Runner, had done a Blade Runner anime thing, right? Like a short. Right, right. So speaking of Cowboy Bebop, yeah, the Netflix show is a go. It's okay, com- it's coming out this fall. Oh, and they just announced Yoko Kano is c- returning to do the music for fucking Cowboy Bebop again. Nice. Oh, so she's coming back, and she's gonna do the she whole soundtrack. The whole they didn't say that. Ah. They just said that she's she's <laughs> she's making the whole soundtrack. I do like so, her voice, though. And, well, do, you know she writes it all, right? Yeah. Even for the seatbelt, she writes most of that music. Oh, okay, then I think we're... Same shit. She can get yeah, another okay. band to play the same shit. Who true, cares? Like, true. <laughs> like, I hope they okay. do, like, a sort of, um, the World Ends of You sort of deal where they just, like, remix the old song. Yeah, yeah. yeah I want that'd that be too. cool. Yeah, cool. I'd like to hear some of the original yeah. stuff, too, still. Yeah, some little mix of some old things and some yeah. brand new songs would be cool. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, all, all I know is when Spike fights, I need to hear that main theme when he fights. Like, the, uh, the, yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. I need to hear that theme at least once in the fucking series. Oh, I hope so. Oh man. Okay. So other yeah. quick things. Oh, you want to say something, AJ? Go ahead. Oh no, Taiji was just mentioning that they showed off Spike's uh, look as well. I know people I, are I liking. Did I, I didn't. I didn't see it, but people were liking it. I just saw people like happy about his hair. His hair. Oh, they got the poopy hair. I don't know. I didn't see it. I just heard people were happy with the hair. It, so, it, it, so uh, is Harold getting really fit for this role? And like, is he practicing? Harold. <laughs> uh, Harold. Yeah, I, I think he's already like, he's. I think he's done stunt work, so he should be ready for martial arts stuff. So they're making that live action one, or what? Yes. Oh, you don't know so anything about this? No. Live action. Oh man, we're gonna talk after the podcast, bro. That's a whole thing. <laughs> uh, oh, man, I want to see if I can find a picture. I was hoping Tai Chi would have one right. Oh, there you go, right there. Yeah. He looks kind of strange. It looks right to me. Like he he looks weird with the the style, but yeah, it kind of looks. It's all right. I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm not hating it. I'm cool with it because to me, it looks like a Japanese guy, <laughs> which Spike is. I'd imagine Spike to be a Japanese guy, and that's a haircut Japanese people have. True. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, that's kinda... he almost looks like Miyamoto here. Wow, that's right. <laughs> he looks like Miyamoto. He looks like a young Miyamoto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he looks better like that. I think. Yeah, I I, I like it. Okay. I, I fuck with it, man. I'm down. I'm down. This is gonna be good. Looks all right. Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll see. All right, um, other quick things. Um, the anime Triple X Holic is getting its own stage play. Um, and, you know, that... when I hear Holic, I think of uh, DDR. Yeah, I um, I don't know. I... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, because X Holic, XX Holic, or whatever. The... Oh, there's just X... a song this called Holic, right? Yeah. There's like different versions of it. Yeah. Uh, oh, well... yeah, I do have some remixes. Yeah. So, Triple X Holic is an old school famous anime and manga. It's going to be getting a stage play in Japan where, you know, they basically do the whole fucking anime within like an hour and a half. And, oh, wow. And like in a, in a stage show, you know? Yeah. And although these are kind of whack, like I wouldn't sit there and watch one of these, the costumes always look fucking sick. So, I yeah, thought like, I had like to show it Like the Yu Yu Hakusho off. ones you Dude, showed like, me? Before? Like the Naruto ones? Like, oh, they Naruto look. Naruto too? Bro, the Naruto ones from the Naruto stage show look so fucking good. It makes me sad because I know when they, whenever they do make that Naruto movie, it's not going to look that good. <laughs> no fucking way. Like, I know it's not going to. That's funny. Um, yes, the, these stage plays be looking dope. Yeah, just like the Yu Yu Hakusho one. I was like, dude, I would buy that cool bar. I'd right. be like, fine. Um, but yeah, so, so if you're a fan of Triple X Holic, there's a stage play coming out in Kyoto very soon. Um, check it out. Other st- are, are the Fire Emblem players doing it, or <laughs> I don't think so. I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, real quick, what are they called real quick Loki news. Ember There's Island a- players, Ember Island players, Ember Island. Wait, what were you saying right now? Uh, real quick Loki news. None of this, none of this is spoilers. Uh, one thing, Loki Charms is Whoa. a real thing made by General Mills. They've <laughs> transformed saw, Loki Charms into a, for me, all right. to a special brand of Loki stuff. Uh, I don't even think any of the shapes are changing. It's just the box no, cover. That would have been cool if they changed the the shapes a, a little couple bit. Of space, yeah. Dude, imagine having some Thor hammers in there. That's what I was thinking. Like some Thor hammers, some little Loki helmets with the spike. Yeah. Like the, you know, it's the scepter. Little daggers. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> little Lokis, because you know he cl- copies himself. Like yeah. Little, little tiny Lokis. <laughs> they at least have the Bifrost. Yeah, he's got it right there, you know. Because, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought because it was frosted cereal, you know, by Frost. I don't uh, think it is no. a frosted cereal, though. The, the, oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean, okay, I didn't right. mean to take the wind out of your yeah, sails, no, bro. Right. I'm sorry. I, I thought the, 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 the grain parts were, like, <laughs> frosted, but I think you're right. I don't think they are frosted. Yeah. No. Uh, other thing real quick uh, about Loki. Yeah. Uh, so something about Loki, the, uh, Mephisto. This is something that a lot of people have pointed to that, you know, okay, WandaVision didn't have Mephisto. But Loki's definitely going to have Mephisto because of this stained glass window scene. And before the episode even came out, the creator said, I'm going to debunk this right now. This is not a Mephisto reference. It's a <laughs> reference to Loki himself. 
He's like, the horns are supposed to be a reference to the horns he fucking wears. He's like, right. it's, the devil fucking fell from heaven. He's like, it's it's not Mephisto, okay? Like, he's like, I know it looks like it. That's not what I'm trying to say. Everyone wants Mephisto. We're just trying to fit Mephisto everywhere now. Yeah. And normally I ignore Marvel Marvel executives and Marvel actors when they try to, like, discount things. But he even explained, like, no, it's it's a reference to Loki and how he fell from heaven and how he doesn't, you know, he yeah. doesn't believe he's part of his dad and all. And I was like, okay. <laughs> he's, he's like, so just fucking let the Mephisto thing go for now. Like, it's not. I would have liked if we went more detailed. Like, even the little green blocks were there purposely because, you know, Loki is green. That's why we have the little green. Well, he's wearing right a green there. suit. He's also wearing a green suit. Like, <laughs> he's, he's wearing a green suit. You could be right about that, AJ. And the way he has his hands posture was like uh, like uh, straight out to the second movie. the second movie? movie. Yeah. <laughs> that it. That's how he was sitting when he was talking to Odin. Yeah, um, yeah but he, he was real clear. He's if like, he went that far, I would have believed him. I don't believe him. Okay, AJ, that's not enough for AJ. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. He went out of his way to say, yo, it's not. That's not what I'm trying to say here. He's like, there's, there is a, a point I'm trying to make in an image I'm trying to paint. Yeah. That's not it. <laughs> like, so it's, you're missing the show if you try to think that is yeah. what he was saying. Um, I just thought that was funny. Um, Good to know. Good to how much know. did you get? I got like two more. Okay, let me do one more and then you do yours. Yeah. Um, I got three more. Oh, go ahead. All right. So Harada, our favorite person in the world, right? Uh, the one I of like the, him more than he wa- – oh, wait. That's not – he's dead denied. now. I'll let him go. I'll let him go. Uh, the director of uh, uh, Tekken, the Tekken series, right? Um, so we all know that uh, Virtual Fighter just came out, right? Virtual Fighter Five Ultimate Showdown, that remake of Virtual Fighter Five. Well, uh, Harada had some words about the game, some kind words mostly though. Oh, okay, good. I was damn. Um, but uh, he was explaining it like in a podcast. Oh yeah, I forgot he has that podcast on YouTube. That's where this is from. It's all in Japanese though, so like I, I I can't go and just watch it and enjoy it, you know? Yeah, like, you, have will, read, you have to read. You have it, to go huh? sit there and read like his his thirty forty minute podcast sometimes. Uh, but he has some good stuff in there once in a while. Um, but uh, he was uh, talking about uh, the Virtual Fighter, and he was like, kind of like reminiscing a little bit, saying that the, when he was um, when he first came to, to Tekken, the Tekken series back in '97, when Tekken Three was out, that was like his first game that he worked on. Uh, he saw uh, Virtual Fighter as a rival, and even um, the, the Namco employ, uh, you know, higher ups came to him. He's like, "Yo, what are we gonna do about Virtual Fighter? How long do we overtake him?" And then Maharada's is like, "No bullshit." Give me ten years and we can do this. To what? Tekken versus Street Fighter? No, to to overtake uh, Virtual Fighter to get Virtual Fighter numbers and all that. Oh, I to, see. To I outsell see. Virtual Fighter because Virtual Fighter apparently was very popular back in the day, which I, I never knew that. I always ignored Virtual Fighter because Tekken was my first three D fighting game, right? Um, but yeah, so at the time, uh, it, it was the king of three D fighters. So he he when, when he was asked by them, he's like, "No bullshit, give me like ten years." Uh, now it's his goal to fight Virtual Fighter, to take down Virtual Fighter. But then Virtual Fighter stopped being a thing in, in 2007, which was like 10 years later, right? Um, and Harada was actually disappointed because Virtual Fighter didn't go out. He like he didn't overtake Virtual Fighter. Sega just stopped making the game, and then everyone from Virtual Fighter kind of migrated to Tekken. So it wasn't like Tekken became better than Virtual Fighter. It was just that the Virtual Fighter players had nowhere else to go but to Tekken. So he was kind of dis- disappointed in himself in a way. It's like, I never got to fight them properly. Like, I didn't, you know, straight out just win. Um, so now that they're back, he's kind of like, he's, he's feel like reinvigorated. Like, oh my God, they're back. Let's hope that this is a sign that the Virtual Fighter 6 is going to come out. And now he's kind of just hyped to kind of, you know, uh, re- reignite the flame and, and their rivalry, uh, at least the way he sees it. So that's kind of what he wanted to say about that. But yeah, that was just an interesting little story, a little backstory for Harada there and, you know, how that rivalry goes with the 3D fighters. Okay. Rivalry is always good. It makes you, it makes you do better. Makes you right? Do yeah. So that means we can get a better Tekken, you know, a Tekken 8. Which we don't need a Tekken 8 right now. I'm good. We don't need a Tekken 8. <laughs> We're good with Tekken 7. It's been, they've been doing good with their, uh, their updates and all that, so... Yeah. Oh, Taichi said he watched the whole thing. It's pretty cool. Talked about rivalries and how he misses the hostility. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty much what it was. All right. I didn't read it. I just read this article real quick, and that's what I got out of it, too. <laughs> okay. Other quick news. Um, Capcom's being sued right now. Oh. Again? Again. As DJ points out, again. Uh, you know, for creating textures in various Resident Evil and Devil May Cry games without the consent of their original photographer. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I guess... You can't even recreate it. Yeah, I guess they've been using things and making things, um, you know, and printing images of their characters doing shit like like for posters and for covers of games and stuff like that. And uh, some of this artwork and style has been mimicking other things that can be traced back to 1996 from the same artist. Uh, Her name is Judy A. Juracek. And yeah, she's uh, from Connecticut and suing the fuck out of them right now. <laughs> um, Damn. 
We'll see if it goes through because I'm sure Capcom has powerful lawyers. Uh, but yeah, it's like uh, I guess they don't show you any images because I guess this is in legal combat right now. But uh, apparently the, the characters are doing the exact same poses as hers or have the exact same similar like stained glass backgrounds as hers, you know? That's crazy. What a bitch, right? I'd be so pissed <laughs> off. Uh, you know, those fools make millions. I'd be pissed off, dude. Uh, other news. Rick and Morty. Uh, the, the creator, uh, the executive producer of Rick and Morty says there's definitely going to be a Rick and Morty movie. Don't know if it's going to be streaming or in movie theaters, but there will 100% be a Rick and Morty movie somewhere in the future. I'm down. I'm down, too. I need to catch up stuff. That's I, one I, thing I have to start watching, too. My Hero and that. That shit's so dope, dude. Um, uh, AJ, you want to give us the last piece of news? Uh, I got two oh, more wait, still. I got, one, I got one more left, so yeah, you go yeah. ahead and do one. So, uh, Arcade 1-Up. Uh, looks like they're going to be coming out with the Simpsons arcade game now. Remember how we had the Ninja Turtles? Oh, they also did the X-Men game too, right? With the four-player and all that. Uh, Simpsons is coming out next, apparently. Uh, this was actually leaked uh, on accident like earlier last week um, through a YouTube video that kind of like dropped and then got taken down right away because they knew it fucked up. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it turned out, turned out it was true. So uh, yeah, look out for The Simpsons as an arcade game now, the the original arcade game. Uh, looks like it's gonna be pre-order start on July fifteenth. Uh, don't know the exact date uh, yet, uh, and the pricing don't know that yet. But you know, comparing it to the past uh, arcade machines, probably around five hundred to six hundred bucks, uh, just like the Ninja Turtle machine was too. Uh, I'm not sure if this any has any additional games to it, uh, just like most of their uh, systems have like extra games in it. Uh, it says was, right it, there oh, it includes pointing, Wi-Fi. It says right there, pointing to a 500 to a 600 price tag. Yeah, that's what I just said. Uh, oh. <laughs> and that this, I'm pretty sure this is based off like the old, uh, the other arcade systems that were like this. Um, since an arcade will include Wi-Fi, allowing for local or online co-op. That's pretty cool. The online co-op is pretty dope. Yeah, well, uh, like on an arcade machine, that's pretty sick. And then there's a trackball in the middle of this. I'm not sure yeah. if anyone sees it, but there's a trackball in the middle here. Which oh, kind of tells me that there may be another game uh, attached to this. Uh, I think someone once mentioned that uh, there was supposedly like a Simpsons bowling game, I think, at some point. Oh, I don't remember that. I don't remember that either, but that might be what that trackball is for. Oh, okay. So that's kind of interesting there. But yeah, I guess we'll find out um, hopefully, in, if not July, of course, when it comes out. But I always say as early as July 10th when that pre-order drops. Out of the four uh, player arcade games, The Simpsons was my favorite. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. I like The Simpsons and uh, Dad and Turtles. I like Spider Man. Did you ever play the Spider Man? I didn't even see Spider Man. Like the four player Spider Man. Yeah. Oh shit! No, you could be Spider Man, Black Cat, Submariner, and who was the fourth? Hawkeye. Submariner. Sure. Yeah. Remember the Avengers arcade game? Oh yeah, I remember that. I remember the X Men one too. I'll tell you for sure, the Avengers one wasn't as good as the Spider Man one. Spider Man one was the shit. It wasn't that good at all. Yeah. The excellent one was my I remember, favorite. like, I was like, who's this all white motherfucker? I'm like, he kind of looked like Vision, but he kind of doesn't. And, like, <laughs> and then he was Vision. <laughs> I didn't know he changed his colors at some point. And then, I didn't know who Vision was. White Vision. Time. I was like, this guy's mm-hmm. just weird looking. <laughs> and, all right, so, um, other, there is going to be an escape room event for the Blair Witch Project in oh, Las shit. Vegas this summer. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's going to be terrifying, bro. And it's going to be built in a hundred year old eerie property in a dark and sinister looking backwood. Uh, unlike most escape rooms, which are just one one to three rooms, this one's going to be ten rooms um, of tense time-based puzzles to solve within an hour. We can only assume that, yeah, so it's probably going to be creepy as fuck. Uh, just from the idea of the movie with the whole shaky cam thing, like, I'm sure they're going to find ways to scare the shit out of you all the time. While you're trying That's to fucking, scary, while you're trying to solve a puzzle. Like, I'm yeah. thinking, motherfucker, leave me alone. Right. Like, you know, like, goddamn, sounds like my nightmare. Um, I think that's about it for my news. AJ, you got one more, right? Yeah, so apparently... Oh, I do uh, have one more, but you go ahead. Okay, okay, that's cool. So, um, Fatal Fury, uh, the old movie, I guess, was a movie. Uh, there's, I don't remember. There's actually, it's an OVA. There's actually three. There's them. three? Yeah. Well, it looks like they're going to be re-released on Blu-ray uh, pretty soon, uh, and, uh, which will include... This Blu-ray is going to include both 1992's Fatal, Fatal Fury, Legend of the Hungry Wolf, and the 93 movie, uh, which was the follow-up, Fatal Fury 2, the new battle. They're gonna what be. What about the third one? Uh, nothing about a third one here. Just those first two, uh, and then these are gonna be uh, up res and everything, uh, re- kind of rescanned and everything from the original footage. It's gonna be 1080p. It's gonna have English and Japanese voice tracks, uh, as well as a brand new, fully, uh, fully corrected subtitles. That's cool. Damn. Um, 
yeah so yeah just those two coming out pretty soon uh i don't think there's a date yet but uh, hopefully sometime by the end of the year that's cool all right my last piece of news Roroni kenshin the Ooh. final mm -hmm. june 18th yeah netflix oh shit what yep netflix netflix the, the actual movie? June 18th. Like the new movie. The final. The final. What the fuck? On Netflix? Netflix. What about the other ones? Here in the U.S. Not in France. Not in Japan. Here in the U.S. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I think... I think uh, uh, Yeah, I think uh, Steven actually saw that uh, by mistake. He was just <laughs> searching it, and, and he mentioned it. But yeah, if it's fact, though, that's crazy. No, it's fact. It's happening. Not in Australia. Not in Brazil. Not here. in Portugal. You know, not even in Portugal, bro. America. America. Hey, can I just say something real quick about um, SNK real quick? Yeah. Uh, I told you I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter, so, and Lily's really into Street Fighter too, so we were playing some of the older games. Mm -hmm. And I started teaching her about SNK. I was like, oh, uh -oh. it was like their big rival back in the day. And like, I, I'm a big fan of SNK, so I showed her Capcom versus SNK. Right. And she's like, SNK is such a ripoff of Street Fighter. Yeah, she's seen it. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, this is Rio. He's like a copy of like Ryu. Ryu, Japan, yeah. Or, and then she's like, oh, this is uh, SNK's version of Chun-Li, and then it was mine. And she's just a whore. Like. <laughs> okay, her mouth just dropped, and she's like, are those her tits bouncing around? Because like, they're really animated in the Yeah, they, they go out of their way to like... Yeah, they're like super... Because I feel like Fatal Fury was like, we're the extreme Street Fighter. That was their whole thing, like, you know, we're Street Fighter, but extreme, you know? Yes. I mean, it's lifelike, though, right? They, they, yeah, the, I, I like their attention, the, the, the you know, creator's attention to detail. You like yeah. it to be anatomically because she's not correct? A bra, so of course they're going to swing. Yeah, exactly. Way, yeah. What else are you going to do? But I, like how you guys are like, I like how you guys are just so on board with this. Like, <laughs> I mean, if they weren't, like, I'd be confused. Like, how are they staying in place so She was just disgusted with it. Damn, like, are you looking at the Samurai Showdown movie? Yeah. Uh, you remember seeing it? When, did no, I show it to you? I, I don't think I've ever seen this. I had it on VHS for a long That's time. That's crazy. I, thought I, should, I guess I didn't show it to it's you. It's all on YouTube. It's it's kind of whack. It's all on YouTube. If anyone it's, it's wants to go to, watch it. It's good to know I could rewatch it there. Samurai though. Showdown, the motion picture. No the 94 movie. Damn, you know, I just remembered okay. those guys that do um, epic battles. I just remembered they did Iron Fist versus Kung Fu Panda. I got to watch that. Oh, yeah. I, I saw that sitting there on my feet. I haven't, I haven't watched any of those in a while. I know. Some of them are good, man. Anyway, uh, that was Unfocus, guys. Episode 305. Uh, let's talk about Unfocus Weeks. Uh, AJ, what you got planned? Uh, fucking play some UFS for once. Finally, with Wags over here. Gets some, like, legit matches in. Uh, you know, probably play some more Digimon with you bitches, too. Um, hopefully, actually get to uh, participate again with Hammer Battles, right? Play some Soul this weekend. Drew um, took it back. Oh, he did? All right, beat that's the, fine. Beat me in the finals. I, I wasn't there, so it's all good. Um, and then, yeah, maybe... Oh, yeah, finish reading freaking The Last Ronin for sure. You have all of it? Uh, at, at the third one, so... That's la there's no more? I don't know if there's any more. Oh. I haven't finished reading it, so I got to find out. Um, but I kind of, I kind of doubt it though, because then there's like, there's no build up to like a final battle yet at all. Mm. Right now they're like gathering, gathering information and shit. So I don't, I think there's going to be more. I'm not sure how much more. Um, but I don't think it's ending of the third one right now. And then, uh, I think that's, that's pretty much all I could think of right now. All right. DJ, what's the one thing you need to do for your own focus week? Two uh, things. Watch that anime. Demon Slayer. <laughs> Demon Slayer. <laughs> For sure, Loki tonight. That's yeah, a promise. That, that's for that's sure. a DJ promise right there. Damn. DJ guarantee. A guarantee. Damn, you don't get those often. Nope. He's certified. Eh? Okay, those are cool, cool two main things you want to do. Oh, that's dope. Even the military can get their hands on those. Wags, what's, some, what's a couple things you definitely want to do for your info? Uh, now that I know it's out, I want to watch Loki. So I have to wait till Friday to watch it this weekend. Uh, play games, man. I've been so busy. I want, I'm excited to play some games, have some free time. Play some more Street Fighter. Play some Dead by Daylight. Um, I got HBO Max, and there's a bunch of shows I want to watch. I want to mm. watch the Justice League. I want to watch the new Adventure Time stuff. I want to. Oh, you know what I missed on my focus week? You know what I started watching? Beware of the Batman. What the hell is that? It's on HBO Max. It's an animated Batman TV show, a CGI one they had. <laughs> Going on the list. It was pretty good. Sure. It's not bad. Beware of the Batman. I only watched a few couple episodes. It's not bad. I watched the Friends reunion. Oh man, shouldn't make me cry. Oh, oh I want to see that. I haven't good. seen that yet. It was real good. Yeah. I'm glad they're also alive that they can do it. Yeah, All right. Because there's so many shows they Damn. can't do that with everybody anymore. Dude. You know what I mean? Like, it's, and it's true, though. Damn. Like, this dude, Firefly, they can't do a full one anymore because um, the Reverend's dead. Uh, Shaped by the book. book. Shepard Book. Oh, they did it without him, though. Yeah, I know. So sad, but they had to. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Okay. That's pretty good, uh, Wags. 
Real quick, they, they have the same. They have the the Fresh Prince of Bel Air Did they have both Aunt Vids on the show? Bro, do you not know about that whole thing that went down with that? I know that they they didn't dig the first Aunt Viv. Bro, we'll talk about it after the podcast. <laughs> oh my god, it was a whole fucking thing, dude. Okay, we'll talk about it. Anything else you want to say for your focus week? Um, good for now. All, All right, right. You me last. Um. Definitely going to read this fucking Thor book that Chris got me started on. I'm going to read the next part. Um, as I just mentioned, I watched Beware of the Batman too. I had a really full and focused week. Wow. Uh, I'm going to continue that shit. Uh, Digimon. Want more Digimon in our lives. So probably going to play that. Uh, probably right now with DJ maybe because since these guys are going to be playing UFS. I do want to play some Digimon with you guys. And um, You could do both at the same time, Will. Who am I kidding? Uh, Digimon on one side, UFS on the other. Who am I, I'll who, do the same thing too, you know. Who am I kidding? I'm definitely gonna <laughs> fucking play more. Right. I'm definitely gonna play more Pokemon Snap. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm trying uh, to I, I, like, I want to get on that too, but it's it's Destiny. That's for sure. Okay, DJ getting in Destiny, and that basically doesn't focus. Um, this is 305, guys. Thanks for listening. Yeah, peace out. Don't forget, this is a Collision 28 production. We're live on twitch.tv slash Collision 28 every Thursday. Also, uh, you can always catch us on youtube.com slash Unfocused Podcast. Uh, I missed a Wednesday. We, we missed a Wednesday. Oh, Don't forget Wednesday. to like, comment, and subscribe there as well. Also, uh, Twitter, can you, uh, you can message us at Unfocused 28. Danny, stop it. Oh, my God. I think I broke it. Oh, you broke it. Uh, Don't forget, this is a Collision okay, 28 no, I got, production. I got We're live on twitch.tv slash Collision 28 every Thursday. Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. Also, uh, you can always catch us on YouTube.com slash Unfocused Podcast to uh, see rebroadcasting of these episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe there as well. Also, uh, Twitter, uh, you can message us at Unfocused 28. Uh, we also give you updates when the show starts. Instagram at Unfocused Podcast. Uh, subscribe, you know, like... Uh, also, uh, you can subscribe to uh, our podcast show, the audio version, on Apple Podcasts, or just get more information about that on Collision28.com. Or if you have any comments or things you want us to talk about, or maybe things that you feel we missed in the past, email us on unfocusedpodcast at gmail.com.